One of my favorite learners, this one's for my older CRNAs that have been in practice for a long time but might not be up to date on current literature. Here are three ways you can update your practice in terms of the most evidence-based practice and literature that's out there in 2025. First is pump and dump. Telling moms to pump and dump for 24 hours post anesthesia is out. New ASA guidelines say as long as the mom is awake enough to nurse, they're awake enough to nurse. Keep and keep over pump and dump. Number two is holding ACE inhibitors and ARBs. Now you're gonna come for me for this one. POISE 3 trial showed there was no effect on cardiac outcomes whether or not the patient held or took their ACE inhibitor or ARB. This is now individualized, so have them hold it if they're hypotension prone. Uh, CHF patients, maybe have them take it. Don't kill the messenger. I'm just saying, that's what literature says. But I still keep vasopressin nearby. Lastly, is NPO guidelines. Another thing is that liquids are good up to two hours prior, which we know, but now we are implementing this more and making sure patients are hydrated prior to anesthesia per the current ASA guidelines. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.